I guess I cover up just slightly, but you're about to see all this, so it don't even matter. Cover that up. You're about to see all this. Cover You're about to do it. Tuck you in. What you mean? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So the day has come and we are finally about to do this belly cast. So I have this belly cast kit, which is the pear head one. I don't know if it's too bright because I have lights on because we have yellow lighting. And one day we're gonna choose to have white lights. One day. One day. <laughs> so, um, like I said, it's the one by pear head and I got this on Amazon for $17. And we just gonna make it do what it do. I'm just really hoping that we don't fluff this up. Let's just really get to it. Let's see what's in here. You ever done this before? Not at all. I've never been pregnant before. Me. <laughs> you ever done this on anybody else? Huh? You ever done this on anybody else? I ain't else? got no friends, chat. Dang. Oh, we got this little thing for the chair. No, like a trash bag. All right, let's put this on the chair. Yes, let's do that. I'm gonna do a quick cut because <laughs> I ain't got no pants on, so. Bye, y'all. Yeah, so. What we got next? So we got the protecting thing. I have like this little sheet on the floor. No need for y'all to see that. It's just one that I DIY with stuff. They bought gloves. Child, they is really thinking. Mm -hmm. I guess I gotta put those on, right? Yeah. So we got gloves. And then we have this. I don't know what this was. Don't know. Does this have instructions? It did. I did read it, but I don't know. Figure it out. Maybe it's the sanding thing. They got that. That belly lubricant. I thought that was Vaseline. Yeah, it looked like Vaseline. Does it smell <laughs> like anything? Oh, at least it got the little thing on it. And then we have, I think these are the strips. And there's one, two, three, four, five of these little bags. So, about to make a mummy. I guess so. <laughs> so, from what I've seen, woo! Okay, from what I've seen is first you need to rub the lubricant all over me. So when I get to the booby part, it's gonna be blocked out. Okay, so listen, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, David. Mm -hmm. I gotta call you David. Because sometimes you, serious? you don't be listening. Oh, sorry. So, yeah, I cut into short strips. How you, short? Like, I think this is pretty good. You're gonna dip it in the water, then you're gonna put it on my belly. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna smooth it a couple of times. Smooth it out, whatever. It's gonna be messy. Mm -hmm. So I know you don't like to have be messy, but you're gonna have to be messy. I'll be messy today. Okay, so outside of that, when we get here, the strips can be slightly longer, slightly. Each thing that you do, strips, it needs three or four layers. Okay. That's how you smooth it out. So it's gonna be layer, 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 layers. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you got layers. You know what else got layers? Parfaits. You ever watch somebody say they got a parfait? They say, hell no, I want no parfait. Parfaits are delicious. What movie's that from? I don't know. Ah, oh, man. You gotta know that movie. I don't know what you're talking about. Comment below if you guys know that movie. I like this part. <laughs> Make sure you get it good because it's gonna have to slip off me. Okay, I'm gonna get it good. This is the only chance you got to be rubbing my nipples and stuff. Might as well take this on. Might as well. You already done. Huh? Look at why you feel why you cheesing so hard. This is good. I like this project. Uh, <laughs> oh, you shiny. I'm shiny. Cause I'm icy. You dripping. My titties sitting on my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably what I'm gonna look like on the bed. Move your, your belly. Your belly's on your back. I can't lift it up, it's <laughs> always like that. Okay, let me lift that. Oh my God, my belly that big? Is it big? big? Basketball. It's big, huh? Palm, I can palm it like a basketball. You can't even palm it. <laughs> and I got big hands too. Are you supposed to shave? Oh, you doing me dirty. <laughs> I don't see no hair. It's a little bit down here. Under my stomach, I can't see. Yeah. He ain't shit. Hey, I think that's good. Is it on there real flat? Yep. I'm being plastered. Make sure it's straight now. 
My titties are becoming saggy. You just try to touch my nipple right there. No, I'm admiring my artwork. <laughs> it's very, you know, you can't even tell that's, that that's two strips right there because I smoothed it out so well. It's the part I don't like. Your nipple is just poking out. I don't like this part. <laughs> Stop touching my nipple. It's still poking out. I'm trying to get it to get covered. <laughs> You're going to do another layer on it. You can see my nipple print. <laughs> That's a problem. So, what can we talk about? Well, you know, it's February. Valentine's Day coming up. Oh, yeah, we ain't doing nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was quick. <laughs> Are we doing something? My bad. Hold on, wait a minute. Let's talk about it. I mean, I ain't had nothing in the plans. What date do we celebrate in February? Black history? We, me and you. Uh oh. See, I'm on my black power. Uh, our eight year anniversary? Yes. What day is it? You tell me. <laughs> Cause you don't know. You tell me. <laughs> what day is that? Huh? Look at him. <laughs> you tell me what day I know what the date is. What is it? I know it for a fact. Okay, let's say it at the same time. One, two, three. February, February 23rd. You you didn't know. You didn't know. I, I don't he know. don't know. I, I, he don't know. Honestly, I, I'm getting. I got pregnancy brain, y'all. Yeah, he do. Trust me. <laughs> That's my excuse right now. Yeah, trust me. I think he got more pregnancy brain than me. <laughs> it's February 23rd that we met. Where we meet at? We met on MySpace. That was. <laughs> what do you mean? We met in person on February 23rd. Yeah. So we met in person on February 23rd when I decided to message him back. And... <laughs> you decided to message me back. Yeah, cause he was blowing me up and I was going- After you messaged me first. I didn't message you. Yes, you did. I friend requested you, I never messaged that's you. That's the same thing. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, you took initiative <laughs> to say hey and stuff. Cause that's what a guy's supposed to do. Yep, so I just- but you found me. I found him, but he took initiative to say something. I wasn't trying, I just thought he was cute wanting to be a, you me. just wanted to be a stalker. I wanted to be on um, the top eight. I don't even think we ever got to that point. No. <laughs> Once we start talking to each other, I you never. Stop using my face. Yeah, I, I never went back to my space. Do I look beached? Beached? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, beached? Like he just washed up on the beach? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Damn. So after that, he told me he had. Dance Central Connect, which was the dancing video game. And I was heavy into dancing, not stripping, hip hop. And she was like, ooh, you got that game? Yep. I was like, yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. And that was all she wrote. So <laughs> then he was like, you can come over and play. Got it to the crib. I was embarrassing myself. Eight years later, we done procreated. <sighs> Let's get this together. What do you think about being at this point? Eight years. No. Gotta have a baby. Child, nobody thinking about us. Gotta have baby. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Ain't nobody thinking about us no more. <laughs> it's all about the baby. Nobody care about our eight year <laughs> relationship. Let's clarify our ages. I guess we can start off there. Well, I'm 26. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, that was funny. You 25. Mm, I don't even remember 25. I do remember my 25th birthday though. What you did? Remember, that's when all, everybody came out drinking to the house? Mm-hmm. And then everybody drove to like Tiger and stuff? Yep. And that was an epic fail. <laughs> Let's oh. talk about that. <laughs> Why are club nights always an epic fail? I think when you get a certain age, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say they suck, but they kinda suck. They play the same music. At least here in Florida. Same music they played 10 years ago. Same playlist. Yep. I don't know. I feel like once you're in a relationship, clubs ain't worth it. Nah. You be thinking about what time you gotta get home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he telling on himself. Can't drink too much. I didn't start drinking until I was 24. So you're saying I made you drink. Yep. So I am, how old am I? Shit. Um, I'm, oh, I'm 29. You knew that? Yeah, I knew you was 29. I don't know. You know, <laughs> after a while, it don't matter. I'm 29 years old. He 34. What? Don't be trying. <laughs> don't be trying. This ain't the time to lie. I'm 30. 
he's 30. So he's only about a year and maybe three or four months older than me. Yeah, so clubs is really not worth it when you're, when you're in a relationship. It's whack. Like, cause you can't get nobody number. You can't flirt at nobody. You can't dance with nobody. The drinks is overpriced. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe, maybe that part, we just cheat. Cause there's a lot of people that deal with it. But I just rather pregame. Like you come over my house, you pregame, you about to go out and then you leave. I stay home. <laughs> but come over my house and drink. I will drink with you. But you, you can go to the club. Because I'm trying to pay to go to the club. And you might be like, oh, well, you can go to meet a celebrity. Well, the celebrity comes like the last hour. So you done clubbed all night. By the time they come, you ready to go home. Then they wanna do they one or two songs. Sometimes they give up on life and just, they wanna do an appearance. And then you pay $40 to get in the club. $40. I don't think girls should pay to go in the club. I think in my life I only paid like three times. What? Like I'm not gonna pay to get in the club when girls make the club. But I think it might matter for City City. You might live in like LA or Atlanta and might be like, you have to pay. Because maybe my city don't even have that many pretty girls. I don't know, like, that's just the way I see it. Yeah, I be mad every time. Going to the club now, I'll just be mad. If I go to a club, it's really for somebody that I'm cool with. <laughs> And like I think the last time we, we don't we don't try to stay till like the end nah. till like three o'clock because then there's always <laughs> a lot of traffic trying to go home and then you be hungry when you leave the club and it's always a line. Mm -hmm. So if we ain't feeling it, we just leave. So you guys, as far as baby looking back, it is kind of surreal. It feels like I'm a paper mache. She not liking this, I can tell you that right now. Do you remember any of our Valentine's days? Hell no. <laughs> I remember the first gift you gave me. What was that? And that was that white Nixon watch. Oh, the watch you lost. Damn, you remember that? Yes. He left the price tag on it too. Just so you know. You knew it was real from that. I want another one. Mm. Didn't you uh, bring like some Olive Garden or mm -hmm. Carabas one year? Yeah, oh, Olive uh, Garden. Take, take out. Yeah, I had made him a little shindig at the house. I made him games. And I was so mad too, because I did a whole hide and seek thing for his whole gift. And he was like, what was the point of doing all that? <laughs> I was like, never again. You know how hard it was to figure out riddles and stuff? I had to Google it. <laughs> Thank you for the effort. You oh, remember yeah. the first gift? That you got me? Mm -hmm. Hell no. <laughs> no, no, it's not, a, it's not a good showing for me right now. <laughs> it's not a low key, he don't give a fuck. No, it don't. He don't remember our, uh, the day we met. He don't remember the gifts. I remember our four anniversaries but before we got married. Too many layers on this before you get the second side. Over there. Yeah. You remember what? I remember our four anniversaries before I proposed. Did you tell how you proposed? Yeah. I don't think so. So for my POV, when he proposed, it was our third. Fifth. Third. We got married on our fifth year. It was our fourth. No, because we I... We were only engaged for a year. No. The reason why? Because I remember the fourth card, you was like, and this is gonna be a four year. It was blank. He, I don't know. He ain't That don't sound right. No, because you only had four cards. Will you marry me? Yeah. And on the back of the card was our first three year anniversary. The fourth one was blank. And you said it was blank because we were making that memory now. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we got married in we our married fifth year. Yeah. But the engagement was the fourth year. Okay, so he made me tell the story in advance. So basically what happened is, I, I remember a little bit before our four year anniversary, and I remember having a conversation. I had a game plan. I told him previously. We were already living together after one year because of my circumstances. 
and he asked me to move in with him because it was just overall better and he offered i was reluctant because i just felt like you know you shouldn't really live with somebody before marriage and blah 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 but it was just you know that's a whole nother thing so ultimately we moved in after a year so i told him around the three year mark that i didn't want to be playing house if you can't figure out if you want to be married or engaged in at least four years then i was going to be starting to look to basically move out so i didn't want to be doing wifely duties and not being a wife if after the four years we're not at least engaged then i'm probably going to be moving out and we can continue to date but i will be taking steps back i already had my plan i knew what i was going to do with you so there are martin luther king weekend I took you to the jewelry store. He took me to the jewelry store. And you know how it is. When you're in long relationships, stuff like that, when you see rings, you be like, oh, I want this, I want that. And we were talking about rings that I liked. So he took me to the jewelry store. And he was like, what type of ring you like? I was like, oh, I like this. I like that. And that's how I figured out your ring size. Yeah. I tried on a few. Yeah, because like I said, I already had it in my head. But I was glad that he was open to the conversation. I'm like, yeah, we was driving around like we do every week. She's real particular about her rings too. She don't like gold. Mm -mm. She she likes sterling silver. Mm -hmm. She don't like colored jewels. Mm -mm. <laughs> so that's why I was glad I took you to the jewelry store before. So. Cause I remember one year during Valentine's Day, you were like telling me about this ring that you liked for me. It was a ring shaped like a heart and it was like rose gold. And I was like, absolutely not. He was like telling me this story about how unique it looked and all this stuff and that it's different. It's not stereotypical. I said, absolutely not. Because personally, I don't like my hands. They look like they're like 67. I have to have a certain type ring be a certain type way to feel like I like my ring. Cause you know, when you get married or engaged, somebody's like, let me see your hand. And if you don't got a good, good ring, it's just gonna be terrible, so. Remember you say you used to want breast implants? I don't think I care no more. <laughs> you see all these YouTube videos now where everybody getting breast implant illness? Illness? Mm -hmm. Like silicone poisoning? No, it's like something where it really be messing people up, like. Because it be leaking or something? No. They just be getting bad surgeries? I think it's just that their body is rejecting it mm -hmm. over time. And it's not something that is immediate. It's like over years. I wonder how long they're supposed to last. I heard that you're supposed to get them changed on every 10 years. Mm -hmm. So, so you don't want them no more? I ain't saying that I never want them. It's just that it's not as important right now. Cause I don't know what my titties gonna look like after this. Maybe my titties might be so saggy to where I want implants. Isn't it the breastfeeding that messes it up? Or it, changes them. Yeah, I heard that even though it, like breastfeeding makes you skinny, like makes you skinny, it also like I heard of a lot of people's titties getting smaller than they were before. Mm -hmm. But I never had titties until now. Mm -hmm. It hurt your back. Nah, it ain't that big. <laughs> Ultimately, I'm trying to be out here with that good snatch back. Snap back. Oh, snap back. <laughs> I'm trying to be out here with crop tops and maybe even give me a belly ring. Maybe even put my nipple rings back. No, I won't do that right now. You got breastfeed. Yeah, I got breastfeed. But I'm trying to be out here with a, with a, nip, with a navel ring. Mm -hmm. I heard that hurts. It can't be worse than nipple piercings. Those are hurt. Those hurt. You already know how that went. I was there. Hmm? I was there. You wasn't there. Yeah, what? You no, was. No, I was there for your time. Yeah. Oh, like, you was not there. You still got that though. Right? Mm -hmm. Is it still in your mouth? Mm -hmm. I almost lost it cause I swallowed the ball. You ever poop the ball out? Who knows? <laughs> the ball's so small compared to my shit. <laughs> oh, you got pickles, huh? I get pebbles. <laughs> During pregnancy, I thought I was gonna be shitting up a storm. Mm -hmm. I thought I was gonna have like crazy Poops. But no, I be getting pellets and the shit annoying. You wanna have a good one? Yeah, you wanna be out here dropping pellets. Yeah, that's true. Ain't nothing like a good, good one. Mm -hmm. 
You know that, you, when you have that real good poop, where you feel like you just wanna go to sleep afterwards? Oh, wow. Yeah. I haven't had that. That's that real good one. Child, that's hard work. Yes. All right, so you guys, I think this is gonna be it for now. I have to wait 10 minutes for this to dry. We'll come back and show you what it looked like. The masterpiece. All right, you guys, so we had let the belly cat sit on my stomach for 10 minutes, and then it was already kind of peeling off because we had a lot of spaces in between putting layers on and things like that, as you guys have seen. So it was already kind of peeling off, so we decided to just take it off, let it sit on the counter, go get cleaned up. That's why I look different. That's why I don't got a wig on, child. I had to take that thing off. I did leave the makeup on a little bit, but I'm about to wash this off too, cause we about to just lay down and chillax. We had a long day, but. If you do this yourself, work as quick, quickly as possible. Yeah, work very quickly because it starts to harden and you should be doing three to four layers of it. So just be very mindful of your timing. So biggest advice, like David said earlier, is to cut everything in strips before. Someone said to do that in the video that I watched, but I didn't think it was as big of a deal as it was. <laughs> it would have been easier. Yeah. yeah, it really is. But your girl's getting winded, getting tired. But yeah, I do like how it ended up turning out. So let me show you guys what it looks like. The masterpiece. <laughs> All right. So like I said, we put it up here. And this is what the belly cast is looking like. Your girl is sitting high and she is pretty big. It's still kind of like damp. They say you should let this sit for at least 24 hours before tampering with it as far as like if you're one of the people that want to get it designs on it and paint it and all that stuff. You should let it sit for a little bit. But David still did a pretty good job. I didn't realize I was this big. I'm carrying. I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with this afterwards, but I'm pretty sure I can figure something out. Maybe I'll put flowers on the nip parts or something. <laughs> But yeah, I guess that is all for us today. We are tired and we about to call it a night. But we seriously love you guys and I said I was gonna do the belly cast and we did it. So tomorrow we are gonna be working on painting baby Isaac's room. We got a lot to do. A lot to do. So yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye. Yo, drunk David is cut off. Huh? I told him to try all the cat. Oh, my nipple showing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta cover that up. You can't be showing that on social media. Oh, wait a minute. It's babe, camera. It's you, camera. It's camera. You, it's camera. You, now. Hold you, on now. You fly as fuck. <laughs> I fly. You see my hair? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just cut off. I ain't playing with him. Man, listen. I ain't you see my seeds out here? Right? Your part is lit. Yeah, get that. Get that. <laughs> get that. I ain't got my baby hairs out right now. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. Oh my god! I'm mad that you don't look as big as I. <laughs> I feel like I'm carrying very well right now. Right? I, uh, yeah, you carry it up. Three, four months? That's What's that like? That's it? About three, four months? Yeah, tops. You just look like you got a giant beer belly. I carry it real well, don't I? I see. Mm -hmm. I don't appreciate it. You're not supposed to look better than me. <laughs> <laughs> look at my seed, though. Ain't she round? Oh, Lord. Side, Cover my nipples, child. Cover my nipples. Oh, we got to sensor that out, man. We got to sensor that out. I'm so oh. fucking done. You cut off. <laughs> Child, no bubble dreams for you. You cut off. Uh, listen. Man, bitch, get off. <laughs> I feel vulnerable. Can't come right to you,